Hey guys, today I have another layout in my found poetry journal. If you're somehow new here, my found poetry journal is this really crappy <laughs> sketchbook um, filled with this horrible craft paper and this terrible binding that I have decided to turn into an art journal. And it's not just an art journal, I'm also using this as an opportunity to tear apart a written typed out, like, written journal that I hate and I never want to read again. <laughs> and that means I am ripping out a page in my journal at random and cutting out phrases that seemed interesting to me in some way. And I'm trying to piece them together to make something that <laughs> hopefully makes some kind of sense. It often doesn't. They ain't good, but... And this is where I just get all of my aggression out and all of those urges to use a messy media. Sometimes I really do just make a mess of color, but today I'm recording this interesting sunset I saw on the way home from work. There were these awful looking storm clouds out in the distance that were kind of purple in color. And there were still some of these really, really, really tall trees that still had yellow leaves on them. And just that uh, juxtaposition of color was visually interesting. I, I couldn't really look away. And plus, we got these huge, gigantic um, power lines. These towers that just come up and they just seem impossibly large. And they make these scary sounds <laughs> as you walk under them. And of course, as usual, this didn't really go the way that I wanted it to go. I wanted to use those super bright colors that the inks had from before, but it just seemed like I just kept making more and more of a mess with it. And then once I started painting around the leaves with acrylic paint, and then I tried to paint some leaves back on so it looked more leafy with other acrylic paint, and just, I did end up making a lot of I don't know, dark, uninteresting blobs and <laughs> shapes that you can't really make out what they are. And one thing that I always kind of neglect to remember is that when I use white paint of any kind, in this one I'm using a Jelly Roll white pen, it will suck up the alcohol inks. <laughs> so it looks kind of interesting because in some places the power line structure is white or yellow and in other places is pink. It kind of makes me think of that um, dodge setting in Photoshop for your paintbrush when you want to have kind of goofy color show up. I wasn't really satisfied with how this turned out. Um, so I added some of these fish. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Uh, but it does refer to my weekend where for John's birthday, I wanted to take him somewhere that he wanted to go that we never really get around to going because it's just really far. But we went to the um, Museum of Anthropology in Vancouver and I was hoping to see a bunch of vessels. I know that sounds kind of boring, <laughs> but I'm not really, I'm kind of a, I'm a synthrope, so I, I don't really care that much about anthropology personally, but I was very interested in seeing ceramic work in tiny vessels and I was completely satisfied by that. But anyway, these fish um, are very cute. I saw a totem pole with a bear holding a halibut and it made me think of um, that hilarious artwork on the wall in that movie The Emperor's New Groove where they try to poison Cusco. And I love the wall art in that scene. <laughs> I love it so much. It's got, it's got that fish. He's got both of his eyes on one side of his face. It's, I absolutely love that fish. If they had something in the gift shop with that fish on it, I probably would have bought it if <laughs> I love it that much. So I'm doing my best to sort of replicate them here, although I don't really quite hit the mark. But I do love the way that it looks. That black is surprisingly stunning. I think that was a... Um, what was that? That was a Posca marker? Yeah, and then I outlined it with this Clearo gold stuff. So that deep, almost matte black against that 
sort of vivid red violet background that looks like it's glowing very cool i'm very glad i did that and then maybe i should have done a few more on the top i don't know but yeah it just goes to show that if you just don't really like something that much just keep adding more layers and a lot of the times you might just add a layer that's even worse than what you had before and it's really hard to trust yourself, especially if you actually end up liking a layer and you just want to add more because you know that that's how you get really cool artwork, is if you just keep adding more and more and more to it. Anyway, I hope you like these and I hope that I can get through this one pretty soon. Honestly, I'm pretty sure that I could probably do at least another year in this book. Ah, uh, this paper is so thin. So thin. But I love it. I'm so excited for the day to finish this thing and do a flip through. And I would honestly love to make a huge zine out of this. I don't think that would be financially possible, but I I can dream, can I? Especially with the found poetry. It's kinda interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>